James Spader's portrayal as Red Reddington is classically unpredictable and unique. James Spader's a classically unpredictable and unique actor, and you can see that from his body of work, from Sex, Lies, and Videotape to the role he did right before Red Reddington, which was The Office. Do you expect me to believe that? A secret meeting with a mysterious Wu Jing. Intriguing, isn't it? He's a myth. That's what they said about Deep Throat and the G-spot. James Spader has the uncanny ability to fit in in a comedy ensemble and a drama ensemble, and a lot of it is because of what he hears and the timing of how he uses the language. Raymond, Elizabeth, and you are? Malta. Malta. Please, please don't hurt me. No, 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 we're not gonna hurt you, Malta. We are, however, going to take your cell phone and lock you in the bathroom. I must say, your hair, the way it frames your face, it's very becoming. When he's in a scene with Megan Boone or when he's in a scene with Ryan Eggold, and each of those actors have different timing and they lob it back to him, he's just able to make it truthful to that character of Red Reddington. God, that door is slow. I was hoping for a somewhat more dramatic entrance. The writers create for James Spader the most amazing, outlandish, wildly intelligent dialogue. You know the problem with drawing lines in the sand? With a breath of air, they disappear. Spader just seems to know the lines that you sort of toss off and the lines that need to be hammered home. Only the poor have courage. Why? Because they're hopeless. Everybody has to be on point to be working with James. The way he delivers it, the way he pauses, the way he reflects, it's seamless. How do you do it? Do what? How do you deal with people looking at you that way? How do you go on knowing that people are terrified of you? The people you're talking about, the ones who think they know you, they really don't know anything about you at all. I've never told anyone that before. The writers really write a lot of exposition, especially for that character, and you really have to be listening to what he's saying and play off of that. I call it verbal ping pong. You have to be able to go back and forth, because he really comes prepared and he knows his stuff, so you need to know your stuff. The oil you had us intercept from Kerrigan in Amsterdam, that came from terrorists. That's why you hijacked it before it made it into evidence. No, I hijacked it because I'm a criminal. I'm parting with it because Alexander Kirk needs to be killed. And if it takes planting a little evidence on him, so be it. Is there any line you don't expect us to cross? I don't expect you to dirty your hands planting the illicit oil. I simply need you to arrest Kirk's employees once they possess it. And how is any of that going to happen? Have a little faith, Harold. When the show started, he was a character you absolutely hated. And as we're heading into f the fourth season, there are moments where he's wearing his heart on his sleeve. I was arrogant. I presumed that there was an order to things, that there was, that if I nourished and protected and taught the child, she would be safe. His cadence of how he speaks, it just perfectly fits the character. There is no line between James Spader and Red Reddington. They've completely merged. I remember a time when your husband never would have taken a job from a man like Alexander Kirk, if only out of respect for his friends. Howard didn't take that job. We haven't had sex in four years. We're rarely in the same country, let alone the same bed. What bed have you been occupying? I think for any actor of any generation, coming to the set of Blacklist and working with James Spader is a gift. It's like a master class in acting. I didn't kill Masha. Elizabeth Keene, whatever you want to call her, she died in childbirth. Perhaps if she'd been in a proper hospital. Ah, damn you! I told you I was hired to abduct her, not take her life. Who hired you? You know exactly who hired me. I'd like to be sure. He's a leading man and a character actor rolled into one. Oh my God. Oh, your God can't help you now, Peter. James Spader is an award-winning actor and he should continue to win awards, especially for a role like Red Reddington that I don't actually think anybody else could do. It's been a privilege to see firsthand why the people you lead love you the way they do. But sadly, our time together has come to an end.